People, people, people! Good evening, good evening, good evening. You know who it is, Arsenio Buck, reporting live from Bangkok, baby. Welcome back to the Arsenio Buck Show. Oh my god, I have been slacking, but you know what? I am back, and I am ready, and I am committed, and it is time, because we just got so much going on. There's so much going on in terms of this next month. In terms of this year, just booking flights from left to right. Oh my goodness gracious, I don't know what's going on. I need to hurry up and book my Singapore Airlines flight. But uh, with that being said, people, what we're going to be getting into today is a little bit more of Tim Ferriss' book. Now, you know what? I'm going to tell you a real story. A real story that Tim Ferriss was actually talking about. What's the newly rich? The new rich, okay? What does in millionaire... Okay, that does differently from a cubic dweller. If you guys don't, well, I'm sorry, a cubicle dweller. What is a cubicle dweller? Well, someone that actually just sits at a cubicle all day from 9 to 5, the 9 to 5 drudgery. What does a millionaire do differently from them? Well, the thing is, it's literally following an uncommon set of rules. How does a lifelong blue chip employee escape to travel the world for a month? Without his boss even noticing. Well, you know what? He uses technology to hide the fact. See, the newly rich people are those who abandon the deferred life plan and create luxury lifestyles in the present. In the present. See, you know what? I've been talking about a lot in Tony Robbins' book. Talk about investing, mutual, saving up for retirement, etc., etc. See, that's all great. That's all great. But the thing is, we also need to actually have money to enjoy the now, too. And see, that's what the newly rich does. They actually use the currency of time and mobility, okay, which ultimately leads into lifestyle design. See, it's crazy because Tim Ferriss is talking about that he actually spent the last three years at the time of writing this book literally just traveling among those who live in worlds currently beyond our imagination like Bora Bora. Within the canyons, we're talking about Cappadocia, Turkey. We're talking about so many unbelievably unique places on the face of this planet. Rather than just literally hate reality like a lot of us do. So you know what? I remember my first first travel. I booked my uh, nice little flight to Australia. And I swear, every day, day by day, I was counting down the days. I was living in absolute hell, taking a music appreciation class from my goddamn degree. Had to listen to the Beatles. The Beatles. Sorry for all of those Beatles fans out there, but come on. That is just, that's, that's, that's pain to my ears. I had, and I failed the class, literally. See, I was, I was literally so focused on what was happening in the next two months rather than enjoying the now. See, at, we're right, right, right now. Sit down where I am right now. See, I got a trip to America coming up. Spend a night in L.A. with my first ever boss. Enjoy some fine dining. The next morning, fly to Phoenix, where I'm going to spend just some of the most wonderful six to seven days with one of my best friends and another friend from college and do a huge competition and get all this Herbalife and get all this Under Armour. Just, oh my God, just be able to eat on some Chipotle, some Mexican food, baby, some food. Okay, that's all great. That's all great. But you th- the thing is, am I just literally counting down the days? No, because right now is already an excitement. See, I understand what Tim Ferriss is talking about right now. Oh, by the way, three weeks later, I got to do another competition in Singapore where there's actually going to be a shuttle bus literally waiting for me, waiting for me at the airport to take me back to the hotel which is another business hotel. Then that very next day, I got another competition. See, I'm setting up everything right now rather than just saying, okay, I'm going to enjoy my life 40 years from now. See, no, 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 no. See, the thing is, you know what? Tim Ferriss was just that same person as I was when I was a dental assistant, a grossly overworked and severely underpaid office worker. And the next thing you know, he just joined the fan club of being the newly rich. It's crazy because there's a recipe to this, guys. There's a recipe that really is. Life doesn't have to be so goddamn hard, okay? It really doesn't. Most people, okay, even my past self included, we've just spent so much and just too much time 
convincing ourselves that life has to be hard, that we have to be part of this nine to five drudgery. See, it's crazy because, you know, those relaxing weekends that we could take, keep it short or get fired vacations, as a lot of people, you know, talk about. Mm-mm, that's not how life should be. That's not how life should be. And you know what? This is why I'm so excited about this book. And if you guys just follow me along this journey, we're gonna we're going to unfold and unravel so many different things. If you guys are one of the very, very selected people out there who are going to be listening and who are currently listening and who will be listening to this particular podcast and following me on this journey, you're going to realize that you don't want to sit behind a desk until you're 62. Whether your dream is escaping the rat race, real life fantasy travel, long term wandering, Setting world records, dramatic career change. This book, okay, is going to give us all the tools to live in the here, live in the now, and, you know, also save up for that retirement. How will, you know, it begins with a simple distinction, okay? Most people miss. People miss, okay? People shoot blanks. People miss for 25, 35, 45 years. My mom, my mom is currently missing right now. See, people don't want to be millionaires, Okay, people just want to experience what millionaires have those ski, the ski resorts, the butlers, the exotic travel. Okay, perhaps rubbing cocoa butter on our bellies. Okay, in a hammock, hearing the waves rhythmically lapping against the deck of our roof or of of out literally of our roof or uh, up against the wooden bungalow that's out there in the five foot sea of Bora Bora in the turquoise waters. See, sounds nice, right? See, one million in the bank isn't the fantasy. It's just sitting there, right? The fantasy is the lifestyle of complete freedom. Okay. The question is then how can one achieve the millionaire lifestyle? Okay, that freedom. See, that's what he was talking about in the last five years. That's what Mr. Tim Ferriss has been talking about. Man, you know what? God damn it. So many publishers have turned this damn book down. How on earth did he, how on earth did I go from those 14 hour days? How did he go from those 14 hour days and 40,000 per year to four hour weeks and 40,000 per month? See, it helps to know where it all started. And that's what I'm going to be getting into, okay? In 2002, he was asked by this one guy, uh, Uber mentor, right? He was a a former uh, professor, high-tech entrepreneurship at uh, Princeton University, okay? He was asked actually to come back and speak to the same class about his business adventures in the real world. And you know what? He got stuck, right? Because there were already decamillionaires speaking to the same class, And even though he had built a highly profitable sports supplement company, he was literally marching to a distinctly different drummer, okay? Over, let's just say, these ensuing days that he actually had done this, right? He, however, realized that everyone seemed to be discussing how to build large and successful companies, sell out, and live the good life. Fair enough, okay? The question no one really seemed to be asking or answering was, why do it all in the first place? What is the pot of gold that justifies spending the best years of your life hoping for happiness in the last? How do your decisions change if retirement isn't an option? What if you can use a mini retirement to sample your deferred life plan reward before working 40 years of it, right? Now, the thing is, first first and foremost, okay, why is this book different, okay? Well, the thing is, why is it different from what, you know, Lisa Nichols' book is? Why is it different from what Stephen Covey's book is? You know, what Stephen Covey's book d- digs very, very deep into the personality of the being. See, I've been doing a lot of soul searching this last week. I've been asking my friend in Australia. I'm like, you know what? Okay, you're digging out your closet. You're doing this. You're doing that. But what else is it? That you have not completed in the past. See, I've learned that from the Jack Canfield book. She's like, well, I am still negative. But why are you still negative? And see, these are questions that she's going to have to ask on her own. I cannot ask her for them. But you know, what is this? But why is this book differently? Okay. Or why is it a different 
from everything else. You know what? I'm going to assume that everyone that's actually listen, listening to this podcast is actually suffering just as everyone else is, okay? The creeping dead, or worst case, a tolerable and comfort, comfortable existence doing something unfulfilling. Those actually just working that job. You know, I was actually just talking to a wonderful, just one of the most gorgeous, oh my God, probably the most gorgeous tiger I've ever seen, better than Miss Universe. And I was like, why did you quit the job? I missed seeing you at the gym. She's like, I didn't like those people. I wanted to move up the ranks. I said, there you go. Now you're understanding how this all works. See, this book is not about saving, okay? This isn't about the Tony Robbins that I told you that we're going to be getting into every so often now because it's just so, just so... Just just too many fidgets are getting thrown at me, so we're going to have to go over that slowly, okay? But you know what? This is about... I'm not going to be recommending you guys to abandon that daily glass of red wine, okay? For a million dollars 50 years from now. No, 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 no. I believe... See, this is why I picked this book up. I believe that we could actually enjoy that glass of red wine and save also okay the goal is fun and the profit okay and this book isn't also about finding that dream job okay okay i will take it as a given that for most people somewhere between six to seven billion people out there the perfect job is the one that takes the least amount of time the vast majority of the people will never find a job that can be unending or that unending source of fulfillment okay so That is not the goal here. To free time and to automate income is. That's what the goal is for this book, okay? So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next podcast. Deal. D for definition. E for elimination. A for automation. And L for uh, liberation. So what is deal? Okay, I'm going to give you a nice little introduction before I cut this bad boy off and get on to actually changing another human beings soul one that i'm actually going to be talking to and consulting in just about 10 minutes but you know what i want to give you a nice little introduction into deal the steps and strategies okay these steps and strategies can be used with incredible results okay whether you are an employee or an entrepreneur right now can you do everything tim has done with a boss Not necessarily, but you know what? How can we actually double the usual vacation time? How can we actually be able to travel and to book these tickets, such as what I'm doing right now, and do this? Okay, America in April. Okay, Singapore in May. Okay, Hawaii in July. Okay, Bali is approaching. Okay, maybe in Australia. Oh, you got to go back to Malaysia. How am I able to do all of this at the same time? How am I able to exchange time for money? See, that's what we're going to be getting into. That's what deal is all about. Here's the step-by-step process, okay, that we're going to need and that I'm going to teach you to reinvent yourself. And until then, people, that's going to be the end of this, okay? That's ultimately what my introduction is into, I guess, going into this book, okay? But you know what? This next podcast that we're going to be talking about in Tim Ferriss is the deal. And I'm going to be getting into all the steps, the step-by-step process, Because, I mean, a lot of you are probably wondering out there if you're listening on YouTube, if you're listening on Twitter, if you're listening on Speaker's website, if you're some of my students who are in my conversation course, or if you're people doing presentations on the other side of the planet in Mexico City, you're wondering why I speak the way I do. Why am I so happy? Why am I electrified? It's because I love life. How was I able to go from the hood to where I am right now and I have vision on where I'm going to be very, very soon. How am I able to do that? And a lot of people say, well, it's perseverance. No, it's about the product. What product do you have that you can give to the rest of the world that they can use and we can all just have an absolutely wonderful time sitting on some white sandy beach in the American Samoa while everything else is just accumulating? See, that's what we're going to be talking about here. That's why I love this book so much because I just have so I just have so much of an overjoy to give you so much of this information. And all you guys have to do is literally just sit back, 
and listen to it. And you know, if it's good enough and say, hey, you know what? I've actually been listening to this crazy black Puerto Rican guy from America who's a teacher and entrepreneur somewhere in time.